Access more. The Bible is the most culturally relevant, controversial, best-selling book in history, selling billions of copies worldwide, with over 100 million being printed this year alone. But the truth is, just listening to someone else's experience or their opinion of the scripture will not change your life. What you and I need is not more knowledge. What we need is a revelation. I'm Darren Mulligan of the band We Are Messengers, and this is The Daily Message. Father God, we boldly ask that you open our ears and open the eyes of our hearts as we breathe in your inspired words. Holy Spirit, take those words from the ancient scrolls and hide them in our hearts that we might carry you with us in our daily struggles. Amen. This is a reading from the word of the Lord, translated from the original languages by pastor and poet Eugene Peterson. Matthew chapter 12, verses 15 through 21. Jesus, knowing they were out to get him, moved on. A lot of people followed him and he healed them all. He also cautioned them to keep it quiet, following guidelines set down by Isaiah. Look well at my hand-picked servant. I love him so much, take such delight in him. I've placed my spirit on him. He'll decree justice to the nations. But he won't yell, won't raise his voice. There'll be no commotion in the streets. He won't walk over anyone's feelings, won't push you into a corner. Before you know it, his justice will triumph. The mere sound of his name will signal hope even among far-off unbelievers. Often when things go wrong, we say, why doesn't God do something? Why doesn't he intervene? Why doesn't he do something in keeping with his position as God of the universe? Well, a central conviction in the Christian concept of God has always been that God is doing something. He is never inactive or silent. But he does not receive his directions from us. He doesn't conform his actions to our desires. But if we change our question to, what is God doing and where? We get the prophet's answer. Look well at my hand-picked servant, the God who in his majesty, strength, and wisdom is beyond our imaginations and has chosen to work primarily as a servant who is almost beneath our imaginations, so far beneath We don't even notice him. I want us to begin by lamenting to God what is really true inside of you in this moment. I want you to confess your deepest doubts, your struggles, your fears, your brokenness, your real feelings and emotions. I want you to show up as authentically as you can with your heaviest burdens. I want you to say the things you are afraid to say to anyone else. Say it out loud, if you're in a place where you can. Or if not, I want you to write it down in a safe place. God is big enough to take our darkest thoughts. He can handle it. But we're not strong enough to push it down and carry it alone forever. So please hit the pause button and search your heart for whatever needs to come up to the surface. Praying to God can be a struggle. But I want you to ease the burden off yourself and just thank him for even one thing in your life today and make it really specific. If all you do in your prayer life is practice gratitude, I promise that will be enough. 
Let's thank the giver of every good gift. We have practiced lament and gratitude and now Jesus I ask that you give everyone who is listening to this a revelation Holy Spirit give us a very specific word or a phrase because you alone know what this day holds for each of us Let this revelation be the daily bread that sustains us through whatever trouble lies ahead. Give us your word to go before us. Let's all take a few seconds to embrace the silence and ask God for this. Hit the pause button on this podcast if you need more time and write it down in a journal or in a note on your phone. But it's important to document it so you can remember what is true and recite this word or thought throughout the day. Finally, once you have documented that phrase or word, I want you to take a moment and ask Holy Spirit to lay someone specific on your heart. Whatever the first name or face that pops into your mind, I want you to jot it down and reach out to them today and tell them that Holy Spirit was thinking about them and that God placed them on your heart. What a beautiful gift this will be. And then I want you to boldly ask them what they need from you today. Don't let them off the hook too easily. They'll probably tell you that they're okay and don't need anything. But keep pursuing them and do something kind for them anyway. This step is important because you can't get where you want to be by staying in isolation. Allow God to connect you through Holy Spirit deeply to other human beings that can be for you. Father God, we thank you for breathing words of life into us today. We ask that you gently remind us throughout this day of the revelation you have given us specifically, that we might believe that your words are true, that we might be made more aware of your presence that we might allow you to animate our actions and be the words in our conversations. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. The daily message is taken from the vivid language of the Message Bible. It cuts through the confusion and fatigue that often can come from reading Scripture. Today's writings come from the pastor and poet Eugene Peterson. The message will leave you in surprise and wonder at the clarity and beauty of God's Word. Explore the Message Bibles available at messagebible.com. Thank you for listening to this podcast. We invite you to subscribe so you never miss an episode and leave a comment if you feel led. I'd love to stay connected to you, so visit wearemessengersmusic.com for more information. Now I want to send you out into the world with this ancient Irish blessing from St. Patrick. May Christ be with us. May Christ be before us. May Christ be in us. Christ be over all. This day, O Lord, and evermore. Amen.